accessing information quickly and easily is something we all want, but with so many tools out there to help you do things more effectively, how do you choose from them all? We'll introduce you to three tools to help you make decisions that best fit your needs. Lean Library is what is known as a browser plugin, and it sits in your browser of choice, keeping an eye on what you're looking for and jumping in at regular moments to help connect you up with an authentic version of a journal article or ebook whenever you need it. Why might this be useful? Well, if you do what the vast majority of folks do when looking for new information, Googling something often results in you hitting a paywall and not being able to get much further. Yes, you can go through the never-ending loop of logging in, not quite being able to work out what thing you need to log in with, and then finding out that that didn't really work for you anyway. Lean Library will give helpful directional prompts of where you can access a certain resource from, and if we subscribe to it at the University of Cambridge, you can often just click on your Lean Library browser pop-up and you'll get straight to what you need. Sometimes we don't have access to a resource through a neat online link, so Lean Library will direct you to further services such as our digital copy request service or interlibrary loan help. Either way, it shouldn't leave you hanging. It does occasionally suggest some strange things, but 99% of the time it'll connect you up with what you need. If you ever get stuck, ping your local librarian an email and we can help you out. Another helpful browser plugin is Zotero. Zotero is an open source reference manager tool, which means you can install it into your browser and save the article, chapter, book, video, news story, the possibilities are endless really, all into a nifty cloud library that you can take with you across all your devices. Other than being really handy for managing your reading and outputting that reading into neatly formatted references, Zotero also starts to learn how you access resources and starts to help redirect you for even more seamless access. Without getting too technical, when you log in using Raven to use university content, you are logging in through something called a proxy server. After a while, Zotero spots that you're doing this frequently and will start to offer to save this as a way of getting to resources more quickly. It's fantastic for working away from Cambridge as it reduces your need to constantly log in with a Raven ID anytime you access something new. However, if you have it activated when you're using Cambridge internet, Zotero can sometimes get a bit confused and start getting stuck in a loop where it just keeps refreshing your web page. If that happens, just switch off the proxy option in your settings and remember to turn it back on when you next need it. One final tool that we'd recommend you try out is Unpaywall. This browser plugin searches the whole of the internet for open access content from thousands of publishers and other legal sources and brings back options for you to try. This is especially helpful if you find something isn't available through a Cambridge route or for after you've left Cambridge and can't take advantage of all the shiny things you have access to as a current member. Most importantly, Unpaywall helps spread the word about open science as a powerful approach to publishing research. If it's made available through an open access route, this means that anyone with an internet connection can access it from wherever they are. This is invaluable for researchers, students, members of the public, and anyone else seeking knowledge. So give these tools a go and see which one works for you.